Man, I almost want to start, like, like researching things. Like, yeah. researching, like, like a little thing. Like, not, like, extensively like that, but, like, maybe a little thing to, like, start fucking every, like, on the episode, just, like, a little, like, information. Little tid- factoid, like, little, little factual information tidbit. More about. than factoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have, like, a guest. But you also have, like... But it doesn't have to be every episode. Just get, like... Just, okay, I've been researching this for the last little while. Oh, yeah. A little like, update type thing. And I really, like, dude, have been, like, loving the idea of, like, researching and, like, that kind of thing. Because these... That one podcast is so cool, dude. Like, they really go deep. I just... I have to find something I want to research. Yeah. Information is interesting. So interesting. Did you know that the Mona Lisa is obviously a very, very famous painting, but that same... I guess she'd be a model at that point. It's not mm-hmm. a photography model, but a painting model. Yeah, painting model. She's in like dozens and dozens of paintings. It's not just that one. That's the really? one that was very popular. Oh, wow. But if you look up, that was just her, her big break. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was her big break. Hey, well, that was her magazine wonder, cover. Yeah, I wonder, did she get paid pretty decently for that? You think? No, that's a good no. question. I doubt it. Yeah. Be a, a female question. in that time. And I'm, I'm guessing sh- it wasn't. I'm sure it probably wasn't famous until. Probably after her death, maybe. I don't know. More of the painter's death. Yeah, the painter's death. death. It was that. Fa- yeah. That was actually more on, famous one. It's more yeah. on him than her, I think. True. It's like his well, caption yeah. of her. Yeah, it is. His artwork. Yeah, yeah. and like yeah. trying to predict her mood. Yeah. They try to, like, mm. they look into the smile. Like, is there a smirk there? Mm. Like, how is she feeling? Like, right, right. Are like, we on right now? Yeah, I recorded a while ago. Okay, sick. I'm going to cut the beginning because the kettle was going. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Dude. I was just thinking, you know what I just jumped on? What did you just jump on? I'm sure you might have seen on Instagram, but I, uh, yesterday, like, okay, so a while ago, Dana and Robin asked me to go sailing, like, when uh, me and Taryn first broke up a long time ago, and me and Dana were hanging out, she's like, oh, man, you should come on our, one of our sailing trips, like, we're looking for crew, and um, winter went by, and of course, like, it never conspired or whatever, and then when we like they put it on their Instagram they're like they're looking for people to go on their next sailing trip and uh from like Nevis and and St. Kitts um well they're parts of the BVI right now it's another island in the Caribbean there's like a bunch of them and they want to go to Cartagena like that's in like Colombia and uh like I woke up yesterday and I was having brunch with Dana and Robin like we had planned brunch brunch with Dana and Robin and went there and um Dana's like so do you like you guys should come and I was like I'm like okay, is he we're like thinking about it I could tell she wants to I, I kind of want to and I'm like trying to think of excuses trying to find a reason not, not to I was like well like I I don't have a job <laughs> in Victoria and I'm like but like I don't have like I have a little bit of money. Like, I don't have a lot of money, but I still got a little bit of money. Like, I can spend yeah. the money to go. Like, it was only 300 bucks. like, the you flight. spend that much money in Victoria with your friends hanging out at brunch. Exactly. Exactly. So There's not too many restaurants on the sailboat. No, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. True. And, uh, so anyways, I just, like, they convinced me. Uh, they convinced me and is. Like, they didn't really have to convince me too hard, but, like, so now I'm going to go May 17th, fly into St. Kitts and Nevis. They pick us up. They're going to be there, like, on the 10th. They're going to be in BVI on the 10th to pick up their boat. That's where it's parked right now. They have to launch it, put it in the water. And and then they're going to come sail, like pick us up when we were there on the 17th. And then we're going to go um, from there to uh, Columbia. But we'll stop. There's like, the Caribbeans have like this like shelf of islands that like kind of like yeah. arc like this into like the tip of South America where Columbia is. So like we'll like, St. Kitts and Nevis kind of here, we'll like go somewhere over here, stop here, and then we'll just, like, sail this way. It's, like, a, yeah. a five-day sail if you were to sail straight. Like, but we're going to do it for, like, oh, I don't know, like, a week or something like that, but we'll be back. Like, I'll be back in Victoria around, like, the first week of June sometime, but I actually didn't book a flight home because apparently you can't. Like, you can, but, like, it's kind of hard to predict the weather of sailing, and, like, cause sometimes it takes you a couple days because of storms or something, or sometimes it takes you, like, more or less time. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to go, which I'm pretty excited about, and Izzy's pretty excited about, too. Did not, I woke up yesterday, I did not have it in my plans to book a trip to to the Caribbean to go sailing to Colombia. I did not at all, and I just, like, did it yesterday randomly, and I was like, okay, I guess this is my life now. Like, I guess, like, 
I know the feeling. Yeah, awesome. you, I know you. You know, like yeah, exactly, right. So I was thinking about you because I was like, Cam would, Cam would do it if he had, to, like, if he could, if he like randomly had the time off somehow, like he would do it. Like, I related more to you sitting at breakfast, just thinking, what's my excuse to not do this, and then realizing. I don't fucking got one. Yeah, yeah, that's exact. That's exactly. I was just like, man. Um, I just, okay. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I was like, cause yeah, it's not like. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a lot of money. Like, I don't have a lot of money right now, and I'm also moving to the island, right? Yeah. But I do have some money, and like, nice. I like was like enough to go on the trip. Enough to go on the trip, <laughs> and enough to like get by for the next like m- like month. Like, so we'll see, like, we'll see, you know what I mean? Like, we'll see what happens. Um, money comes awesome. back. Yeah, money does come back. Man, Memories there's oh, you can always, come back, you can always yeah. come back and make money. You can always come back and make money. And, dude, you can just be a savage. Like, you were when you're paying off your debt. Like, Jeff Matheson is. Like, like I was when I'm paying off my debt. You can be, you can be tight with your money, hard, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, oh, you yeah. just have to discipline yourself. And don't get me wrong, it's a lot... I don't, I think it's just, it, it's easy to discipline yourself when you have a reason to discipline yourself, you know? When yeah. you're like, yeah, I, like, you're, you, you're like, no, I'm fucking paying my debt off. Like, at one point in time, Cam had, like, some pretty heavy student loans and, like, that kind of thing, and, like, right. went on a bunch of fucking Not, in, not incredible, but I was just yeah. horrible with money. No, no yeah, same, no, dude, same with me. I, no one taught <laughs> yeah. me how to use money. My parents are still not good with money, yeah. and I would just go on trips with my visa, I'm like, yep. Yeah, I got a limit for this. Like, yeah, yeah, it that's works. Exactly just pre-approved. Your that's exactly. And then I moved to Vancouver, had a dog, and I was like, I lived rent-free with my parents and made $50,000 a year at Santec. Yeah. And I didn't pay mm. any... I accumulated more debt. Yeah. Like, what I the know. fuck did like, I do with my money? We just... Because we would go on every trip. Yeah. <laughs> and we would just be like, even though we wouldn't have money and like... Yeah. Um, and just... But we just never had the, the, the mindset to pay it off, right? But then I, I came... Like, I accumulated some debt after All Aboard, after the train trip. Like, right. I had 8500 bucks in debt, like, just, just from, like, a couple years totally. of traveling. It doesn't take long. It doesn't yeah. take long, like, moving to Vancouver and just not being smart. And then when I came back from that, I had to pay off my debt. And thankfully, like, Martin at the time didn't make me pay rent, but he was, like, kind of my financial advisor. And, like, basically, oh. like... Basically, it was like, nope, that, that, that amount of your check, like, 800 bucks, like, now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. like... Yeah. No, a thousand right now. Do it. Like, who cares, man? You're like, just like, you can, you can live off 300 bucks for food. Like, you yeah. Know? Like, he's just like, he was like oh, kind of a savage yeah. and I was just stoked. I was, he like kind of like showed me like that kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of Same, you. yeah. And, um, yeah, anyways, so. My debt wasn't that crazy. It was 20 grand. No, but it takes a while enough, to pay though. off when you're like, when you're like have to, when you're like working a job like we do and we can kind of like tell at 40 hours, like you get paid this much, you can kind of like, you can kind of budget yourself, right? Like okay, like, I get paid this every two weeks or whatever, every 14th and 30th a month or whatever it is. Um, you, like, like, I don't know. You know how much you're coming, so you know how much you can put in, and you just know that it's just going to take you however many months of working to, like, get it all down to, like, nothing kind of thing. Like, I don't know, but... I was never worried. I just was never able to go on vacations. Mm. If something spontaneous came up, there was more than my vacation days right. at work. I couldn't go. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't live without a paycheck because I relied on. Because like, you'd have to take the time off and go no pay, right? Yeah, and yeah. I know, like it wasn't hard to sit down. Like anyone that hasn't sat down and looked at their transactions every month, and figured out how much they spend on everything, yeah. you probably should. How much do you make? How much do you spend? Where can you cut down spending? For sure, it's when do you that don't first. Check. Yeah, That's do that first. That. Figure that out. But I just still needed that income. Mm-hmm. So like. All aboard time. I couldn't have left anywhere. No, you, I couldn't have gone you were, anywhere. You were fucking stuck. Like you were, I, yeah. You were really stuck. Was a realization though. I was like, shit. I got to figure this out. Yeah. But that was when you said the feeling about realizing that you were trying to think of an excuse. I went to Vegas for foosball, and I got in. So I went like Wednesday, beginning of April, stayed until Sunday, and I got home. The tournament ended at like. 4.30 in the morning Sunday or Monday morning like Sunday night and my flight I had to leave the hotel at 6 and by the time we actually like negotiated or not negotiated navigated our way out of the room and like said goodbyes to everyone because everyone yeah, you cross you, you gotta say goodbye at like yeah. a tournament or a skate park you don't like see them for a year this is like yeah, the once yeah. a year everyone goes to this tournament yeah. and everyone stays in the same hotel so right. to get from that tournament room to your hotel room took us 45 minutes and it's 5.15 when I get back to the room, winding down. I actually tried to sleep until 5.45. I think I laid down for 20 minutes. 
put my phone around the corner on the other side of the room. When it went off in the morning, I was sharing a room with Linda, one of the foosball players from Calgary. She's still up packing. Like, she was awake when I went to bed. 20 minutes later, she's still <laughs> just sitting there, like, pulled in her socks. And I was like, shit, I, I got no sleep. Yeah. Flew home, picked up my dog uh, out in Langley. I got home, back at the Did house. Did you fly home? You got back to your truck here? And then you... I went to go pick went, up Georgia yeah, and Langley. Okay, so you had to drive all the way from here. And then I slept until the foosball tournament. I was there until probably like midnight. Tuesday, I got an offer to go to Hawaii. And I was like, just like you at breakfast. Well, no, I can't. Like, because, well, I do have money. <laughs> Work might say yes. <laughs> yeah, like, you're just like, I haven't even asked them yet. So it's like, they might just, say yes. I just picked up my it. dog from a dog walker that loved her. And she was... Li- She's still at home. I know yeah. she's at home right now. And I was like, let me get back to you on that. Yeah. I was like, there's literally just two obstacles in my way. And you just got to ask the dog walker. You yeah. just got to talk to the dudes at work. And they both said yes. And I was like, I guess I'm going to Hawaii Ooh, on Thursday. Sick. So then I worked two 12s, That's Tuesday, a Wednesday. Sick place to go, dude. And I just went to Hawaii. And that was tight. Yeah. And then it's tight. came back, got home at four in the morning on Monday. So this is like, okay, so you're... The weekend before was the Vegas tur- yeah. tournament, and then the next weekend... So Monday, no fucking sleep. Yeah. Tuesday, found out I was going to Hawaii. Worked 12 hours Tuesday. 12, 12 hours, hours Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday, you were I, leaving. But my flight got booked on points. Right. And they only have points from Southwest, yeah. which does not fly to Vancouver. So right. I had to wake up early, drive to Seattle. Right. Fly to Oakland, fly to Hawaii. Which got you put your car when you are in Seattle? At the airport. And how much was that? 130 bucks. That's not that bad. It was worth it. Man, I didn't pay for the flight, I was flight, expecting dude. actually a couple hundred bucks. That's not that bad. I didn't pay for the flight. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, like, I, I, I can't fuck it. Yeah. I bought every meal while I was there. I was like, no. Yeah, that'd be a hard is, opportunity to pass yeah, out for yeah. sure. And I was like, it, what it was, uh, a dude at my work, Matt, who actually, he just quit. I found out Thanks, you okay. when yeah. he was, when I got home from Vegas, he's like, I put in my two weeks. And then I went to Hawaii and came back and I had like four days with him before I left. Uh, Thursday was his last day. Oh. Got a government job. Starts next week. His first day is a stat holiday. Paid. Wow, that's so <laughs> nice. nice. That's crazy. Perfect. That's so nice. Wow. Yeah. That's so nice. For he's just like, yeah. Fucking Usually you have to wait yeah. like three months before you get paid for stats, but they just give it to him first day. Yeah, oh, nice. And anyways, though. I don't know anything about the government, but I'm pretty positive that they they definitely pay their their employees well. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. They probably yeah, take they care well. of their employees yeah, for well sure. in general. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing too. Yeah. Like people just like to go to the government for jobs. That's yeah. like once you get in with the government, mm-hmm. you're in with the government. You're in the city. That's like yeah. a lot of people pick that route. Totally. And a lot of people that like to grind hard, make fun of them because they just want the easy way out. Yeah. <laughs> there's like there's two sides of it in yeah. that industry. Yeah. It's... Totally can see that. <laughs> I can, <laughs> totally yeah, can see yeah, that. I can, I can see the bias on the like. I'll take it. Yeah. I. I'll grind hard. I'll take the eight weeks vacation. For sure. I'm not gonna complain. Eight that. fucking weeks? I was guessing that. Oh, okay, right. yeah. That's so sick, but that's how it fucking should be, man. Like, it should be eight weeks vacation, man. Yeah, it should be. Like... Eight weeks vacation. Like, or, or at least, like, everybody's... Like, the fact that people get two fucking weeks, I'm like, go fuck yourself. I would never yeah. do that. I would never take two weeks and... I have to take more. Yeah, oh, I have dude, to take I more. Look I literally am... I tell, <laughs> I tell my, like, employer at the beginning, I'm always just like, listen... I like my time off. I'll mm-hmm. take a lower wage for because of it. Yeah. But just let you know, I'll fucking go on any trip. And if I don't go, I'll just quit. Straight up. I don't care. Hey, like, if that doesn't do work it. for you, I'm just going to tell you that now. Yeah. Because I'll give you time. I'll give you like a month, two months, like, you know, three months yeah. if I know. I'll give you all the time in the world. But I'm going to go on the trip. Totally. No matter what. And that's good that you're like actually coming up front and telling oh, man. employers. It's that's important. Like- Last time yeah. I got hired for BCUS, my boss, like, just, like, Mick was just, like, damn, I like that confidence, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was, like, yeah, dude. No beating oh, around no, the bush. No, just, I'm not fucking around. Like, because yeah. he asked me, like, what, what do you want? Like, what, what, like, what, like, what are you looking for? Where are like, you at? Yeah, where are you at? Like, and, yeah, he's a cool guy. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Intro. Yeah. Over. That was a decent intro. We caught up. Yeah. But we should introduce Ante. Oh, yeah, we should. Yeah. Uh, should we cut, yeah. cut it at some point? After we do this, yeah. Okay, I'll cut it. I'll cut it tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah. So, So, Ante is a is a a human, of course. I am a human. He's not a robot. Um, 
um, he, he uh, some of our listeners might know. We brought yeah, Monte up quite a bit. If you guys have consistently listened to me. us, uh, <laughs> no, no, we've talked to you. We've actually talked about you pretty much once an episode for the last like <laughs> yeah. twelve episodes because we always like Ooh, yeah. we reference you, man. We reference you, you often. I've noticed the couple references. Very yeah, kind of you guys. Yeah, that was so, a huge. Go ahead, Jordan. No, no, you go, you go. Oh, I was gonna say that was a huge moment because Mackenzie, her episode was probably like four or five and she was right at the dude, beginning dude not to interject yeah. but Mackenzie and Priera are on the same fucking talk that's so sick dude yeah. I was like I talked to them both about it before they got before it was official so they're on Sorry, the same anyways, didn't yeah. drugs. Uh, we'll get we'll oh, get okay, there yeah. sure. so Mackenzie was just transitioning out of a bar yeah. like, working as manager as a bar into more of like a self improvement career field yeah. and I was just so down for it and I've always been so down like just cheering for her mm. and I never know how to help Mm-hmm. Even when it comes to our friends like Jetty and all those guys, like with, with or Dale with all aboard, like yeah. I don't know how to help. Mm-hmm. And yeah. this was the first time I was like, shit, I don't have that yeah. many listeners, but a hundred listeners is better than no listeners. Totally, you know, like maybe one person could hear Mackenzie and like maybe this could reach someone. And Ante, you're the first person that made it real. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Ante yeah. reached out to Mac. I guess you could tell the story of how you like what happened there, but it was just super yeah. sick to go. F- have it sink in that it was real. And yeah, then, totally. Sorry, you go ahead. And then you you did that, and then what was the other thing? Oh, we saw you at West Park, and you called yeah. us out. We were like, we were like, yeah, totally. We were psyched because yeah, that was that was weird for us because we were just like <laughs> Instagram first. You reached out on Instagram on first. on Instagram first. Yeah, is that how it was? Like, yeah, yeah. I deleted my now. Instagram, like just the app itself. And I came back like a month later, oh, and I was like, right. "Fuck!" That's sent me a message like a month ago. Oh, oh yeah, dude, like, I wasn't even it. like friend because I was like, "Man, eh, like probably like doesn't know who I am, like just some rando hitting him." Oh, dude, some I on Instagram. I'll answer anyone that sends me anything. Yeah, I'm well, and voice, voice of Vancouver too, of course. Huh? Yeah. Well, fucking, if you want to hit us up, hit us up. We'd be down, like of course. Yeah, ask us a question. I'll try but, to research. Yeah, we walked into <laughs> West, and then you said, "What's up?" And like we just say hi to everybody. So, like, yeah, hey, man, like hey. Yeah, but then you came over. And you're like, you're Cam. And I was like, yeah. He's like, Ante. And then it clicked because Instagram. We talked on Instagram. Right, yeah. And I was like, shit. And I told Jordan about you before. I was like, yo, I screenshot of the message. And it was like, it was cool to get feedback, positive feedback. It was nice. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I didn't come over right away because it looked like at the time when you first got in, I was like, oh, they're ripping right now. So. Mm. Michelle, all right. Maybe you were we just do like up. To, we do else? like to fire up <laughs> West Bryant's quarter pipe. So we, that's like yeah, you guys going, rip that quarter, dude. Because it's, yeah, it's like the huge. perfect quarter. No, no, it's really not when you skate bigger yeah, quarters. Yeah, like so. It's like tranny. it's like the perfect it. quarter to learn shit on for when you want to transition into bigger tranny. Mm-hmm. I, I swear, because it's just shape of it and just how the size of it, man. It's yeah. like it's big. It you is can, big. You can run out pretty easily. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, okay. You're comfortable. Yeah, it's like it's big. Ish, but it's actually not truly that big. Yeah. If you skate like a any bigger park, any like, like Hastings, Hastings or, or like yeah. even New West, like their bull end is like really deep. Um, yeah, and like it's I don't know. That's I don't know about you guys. I find especially skating Hastings and bigger tranny more now. Mm-hmm. Realizing you can just let go and slide into like the tranny's gonna catch you. So mm-hmm. sick. That's something I've never. You don't, have to, roll, you don't have to roll. You don't have to run out. Yeah. But that West is like yeah. the best size for both. Yeah. Because you mm. can run out of it and you can slide into oh, it. Oh yeah. So it's big enough to there, catch you yeah. and you can run out of that quarter pipe. And sometimes you want to just like sometimes your body when you're falling you just you just go into your butt so you're just like okay salmon. Like yeah. just like you yeah. just like you just like yeah, yeah you, you just die. Die. yeah that's <laughs> it. I swear Hopkins is the greatest salmoner I've ever met in my life. He can be like airing like six feet out and he's just like Sam like just like just whoosh, way down the corner <laughs> but it's so it. crazy just, you just catch the tranny perfectly but like, Wes is so sick because it's so smooth too. Yeah. so you're yeah. just like you're like pretty much slide all the way to the, the fucking hubba yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty like, much well oh, yeah, yeah that pillar not even exaggerating I've yeah. that pillar uh, yeah exactly yeah. Like, it's so funny though like, I, I, that's sick man that's so uh, it was random that you hit us up though we were oh, like we were both true, just like oh yeah. sick like that's cool yeah but, it's sick that you reached out to Mackenzie too because Mackenzie yeah. offered anyone listening Mackenzie's offered one free intro call she's a life coach if you're not happy with what you're doing if you think there's more that you can get out of your life you're right and yeah. she's yeah. professional she'll talk you through it totally. yeah and it's weird yeah. I used to be weirded out by the idea of like life coaches and stuff like that mm-hmm. like oh I'm paying you to what they fucking work like yeah. there's a mindset that you need to adopt in order to improve at least on a larger scale yeah and some of them are definitely frauds 100% like some people are just trying to ride that wave yeah but, it's, it's trending hard right now so yeah totally like yeah but 
there's a lot of information out there and with yeah. stuff like podcasts and YouTube and just free content everywhere. Man, and it's just like, it's sick because like, don't you want to learn as a human? Like, don't you want to keep learning? That's like the, I think that's the most important, one of the most important things is to continue being a student of life. So it's mm-hmm. like, if you can Absolutely. learn something from other people that know things, then you should pay, like, pay them yeah. to help you, man. Yeah, like totally. they're like, you know, they real truly, truly helps. Like, it's just like therapy, man. Like I used to think that that was such crock of shit until I went to therapy and I was like, therapy's dope. Like, yeah. this is actually so nice. Like, it's nice to talk to people. It's nice to oh, get yeah. feelings. I realize that like, I'm very lucky to have my group of friends because we express our feelings toward like we like if i'm sad about something i could easily talk to cam about anything i'm sad about and he'll give me the space and he'll let me talk about it same with him and like i realized going therapy how good it act all i we act our friend group actually is not just for support like not just like you know what i mean because we grew up together but just generally because of support and stuff like that i was like man we actually kind of like have therapy sessions on our own like you know like just with like the way we talk to each other because i realized also that some guys don't like some guys and i'm speaking guys specifically Mm -hmm. like not females females are usually really good at like opening up with their yeah so i mean for sure obviously like not for sure no no they are they're better they're better at it for sure like guys are usually i'm a man hard exterior like you know we're talking about yeah i know so it's like like i don't know i just feel like it was something that was so necessary like Mm -hmm. you know and uh anyways for future and i hope that any listeners that hear me talk about what i'm talking about not even just differences in sexes just difference in general in humans when you make an assumption like that like oh guys are more they're less emotional Mm -hmm. than women people tend to get offended and that's why you immediately jump to say like oh yeah i I don't mean all Mm -hmm. girls yeah but if you look at it there's like overlapping bell curves so imagine one bell curve that comes up I wish we had a camera so I could show yeah. Listeners, yeah. you can google this and a whiteboard that'd be sick I had a whiteboard right I have one right there I know you could like but you can draw we, it out for us oh I could move it there for sure yeah. <laughs> I would bring it over here yeah um, <laughs> anyways these overlapping bell curves just shift to the side a little bit and this is very common for almost all traits like aggression for example mm. so when you say men are more aggressive than women and if someone gets offended at that, I hope you realize that we're just taking an average. So oh, if yeah. you were to walk down the street and you were to guess, is that person more aggressive than that person? You would be right 60% of the time if you guessed the male. Right. That leaves a lot of room for error. Yeah. I know girls that are more aggressive than I am. Fuck yeah. But where this is important is at the edge of those bell curves, when there's like the small percentage of the right. outliers, there are very different differences. Like males populate 99% of the population in prison. Males are the aggressive yeah. sex. So even yeah. though there's an aggressive woman that's more aggressive than Jordan, you're picking in that middle with like regular people. Totally. So when you say like emotional, like it's true. You don't have to, I don't think you have to apologize for it. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, hope yeah. listeners understand that we're not making blanket assumptions on people, yeah. but there is science to back a lot of this. Totally. As well. yeah. That's a very and good way. Like, of so putting yeah, there women are more emotional sex and yeah. there's reasons for that. And it's yeah. beneficial. We, we need both. That's why we mesh so well together. Yeah, mm. that's true. I hate yeah. the fight between the two because it's like, because we need each other. We need each other. Yeah. That's a good, that's so smart, man. That's really like, Yeah, like your explanation. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But yeah. it's so, people are so quick to just get like, they really, they just want to get well, triggered we, by we, something. Like, yeah. we're trigger culture right now, man. I feel like everybody just gets pissed off about everything and like, don't get me wrong, yeah. there's disrespectful things that you shouldn't say anymore. I, I agree with that. We're moving but, in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're moving in the right direction, but some things aren't meant like some things are just meant to be said not to meant to have an argument or get like like aggressive or offended by it you know what i mean it's just i don't know yeah people are very sensitive in this for sure i feel like in vancouver especially people are very sensitive not to mm. stay on the topic too long but i always find it weird all right one one more thing yeah (laughs) Yeah, for sure i want to hear your experience with mac and all that like just oh yeah. yeah but i find it weird in vancouver especially I guess that's just what I see because I live mm-hmm. here and that's what people I interact with physically. They get offended at a question. Like, you should never get upset at a question. Like, if someone's genuinely curious yeah, they want and, it's to about, and if you are angry and not answering, like, does that mean you don't have an answer and you're just offended so at the true. idea of yeah, it? So true, yeah. I, I, can, I can understand getting upset at statements but if someone's right. asking a question, unless there's, sometimes people have that intent, like the underlying intent, they're yeah. being 
they're being an asshole and intentionally being a dick they, about they it. They do. They, there's a hidden back... Like, yeah, back there's an agenda. The question, there's yeah, a motivation yeah. to the question. But sometimes people are just asking questions. Yeah. Sometimes... Because they don't... Maybe it was fucking scary to ask because they were afraid you were going to get offended. Yeah. Maybe it's a question a lot of people have. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you're fucking right, man. Yeah, I think, I think you're, you're so right. I think you hit right, the nail on the head. Sure. Yeah. But Mackenzie, you yeah. talk to me. Yeah, I, so I want to hear. Oh, yeah. um, so basically, yeah, what happened was uh, I had kind of come to the conclusion after like him and Han over like the last year before I came to this conclusion um, that like or coming to the conclusion that I am not not wanting to like, work in cabinetry anymore. For How like long were you in cabinetry for? Not that long, like um, three, no, four years, I think. Yeah. And I didn't actually complete my Red Seal, unfortunately, because, okay. uh, well, just Did you shit want came to? up. I wanted to, but one not point. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you to since at one I didn't point, maybe, it. Um, uh, maybe it's not necessary. If you wanted to I mean, time to it. that's kind of what I concluded yeah. at this point, because yeah. I can always go back to it. That's what I thought. Like, can always go back to it there's nothing stopping me from going back to it i didn't burn any bridges or anything yeah so um right now i just decided i don't know what i want to do for a career and i'm just gonna friggin drive a forklift and do shipping and receiving at this like trucking company essentially like man there is a difference between having a job having a career mm -hmm. having a vocation and having a hobby and like a job it it can just be a job, you mm-hmm. know, like I'm telling like, yeah. you know, like you, you, you don't, it doesn't have to mean anything. People need to do work, all sorts of work. Yeah. It doesn't just because you're working a job doesn't mean like, I'm just telling you right now, it doesn't mean mm-hmm. you're lost or anything. You don't have to figure it out. Work the job. You might get inspired in like a year or two to do something else. Just let it come to you, you know, yeah. but a job doesn't have to be. It can, it just it can just be a job. It can support Absolutely. whatever else you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Pretty like, much. you know, sometimes like, like I know I've worked electrical for a long time, but yeah. I've also worked bars and like and just different work, you know what I mean? And and I don't know, like the in between time when I was working at the bar and and I like it was just a job just to, to support me so I could mm-hmm. skate, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it just it, those are beautiful times in your life. Now how old are you? Twenty one. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. This is a sick era for you. You got your twenties right ahead of you. Dude, making the decision that early too to decide that I'm gonna pick something that's better for man, me. Man, you're already you were fucking. Gonna, you're well. Thanks, you're like seven, guys. eight years ahead of a lot of people. Straight up, dude. And that's gonna. Uh, I guess so. Compound growth, hundred percent, dude. Yeah, man. Like, don't give. Like, you're still twenty one. You got a lot of yeah, like, a lot to go. But like, dude, just the fact that you have that mindset is great already. You know, oh, like thank you. yeah, that's like very nice of you guys to say to me. Yeah. Anyways, I like, get back to you. So you, you're not, you're not. You decided you're oh. gonna drive a forklift. Uh, gonna, oh, actually, two jobs. I should correct myself. I, I. Uh, Fucking drive pizzas around as well. Oh, sick! Yeah, on, fucking like, I told them like at first the few, first few weeks were hectic because I like didn't have a day off in like three weeks when I first I started both these two new jobs on the same day as well. Yeah. So I worked eight to five or eight thirty to five at the forklift shipping receiving job, and then uh, that was my first day there. And then immediately after, I had to start at five thirty my first shift i've never worked in a restaurant or anything before at the pizza delivery place and that was where you where did you like who drive for uh emilio fanati is it where is it's it? in downtown langley oh nice yeah Sick. really good pizza and that's where you live, you live uh there? close to downtown langley yeah. i'm actually my address i should say is in surrey yeah, but it's right like on the border two blocks away yeah well Sick. not more than two blocks but four blocks i think Sick. that's sweet yeah so you what was like like you hit up Mac then when you yeah were, when sorry you were we totally got no, no, it. I totally oh, got yeah, it. I like to hear. About yeah. it. I wanted to know what you did. Yeah. Oh no worries. Um, yeah, I hit up Mac and uh, um, sorry, I gotta get back on the in the mindset train thought. That's yeah, I lost my train of thought. Smoke, totally. smoke some weed, dude. I get it. <laughs> um, I get it all the time. But yeah, no, but you're saying like, okay, so Mac, like, yeah, what, like, did you hit her up? You did you phone her? Did you call uh, her? Did you email I, her? Originally, I think I like email like went onto her site and like navigated the whole contact like, me, contact me and then we like set up a time to call and I called her and um honestly I like realized like three quarters of the way through the call I felt terrible for this but I realized like shit like I'm not yeah I'm not ready to start thinking about what I want to do for a career yeah and I 
felt really terrible about that. I, like, just hit her up, actually, before this. I was like, hey, I, like, I'm really grateful for, like, everything you've done. Like, she definitely gave me some, some wise words that I've, I'm going to follow. Wrote those down. And obviously... And she also pushed me to, like, contact you guys because she was, like... Because I mentioned that, well, I might uh, look into the future, like, doing the whole skate park design thing. Oh, but, yeah. I mean... I was, I guess I was naive in thinking that, like, I would be ready for something like that, you know? You don't have to be ready right now, man. Yeah. You got a lot of fucking time. But, like, yeah, and that's kind of what I realized. I, yeah. Well, I didn't realize that right away, but, um, yeah, I, I just basically uh, hit her up, and, um, yeah, she pushed me to, to contact you about the New Line stuff. And, um, yeah, went from there and, uh, I was stoked that I met you guys too. You, guys you don't need to super chill. feel upset about having the one phone call with Mac. And you said to yourself that you realized it like midway through the phone call yeah. that you weren't ready. There's a chance that you wouldn't have realized that had you not been on the phone with Mac. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that in itself so is true. like, that's a huge realization. Those are important mm-hmm. to realize. You're yeah. like, shit, like I don't necessarily have to look, I'm pretty young and... And, like, I have, like, I can think about what I want to do. And I should think about what I want to do because, dude, if you're going to invest a lot of time into something, it better be something that, like... An investment. An investment, right? Invest is, like, the real word there. Yeah, like... If it's going to make you better. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I meant, like, I felt terrible because I, like, didn't want to waste her time or anything, you know? like No, no, exactly. Because she signed up for that. That's, like, I don't (laughs) think she would... I think it's just perspective. I don't think she would feel like you Mm. wasted her time at all. No, no. Dude, it probably, probably she probably liked it. Yeah, she yeah. probably liked it. You know, like, dude, yeah. like she does it for a reason, right? Like yeah. she likes. Oh she yeah, likes she seems things. like very, very she's genuinely like wanting to help. Yeah, others. Yeah. She's awesome, person, man. You know? She's she's yeah. a good good person. Um, Shout out to Mac. Yeah, it's fucking totally. Mackenzie yeah. Chilton. Yeah, yeah. And she'll be talking at what? What's that talk? I don't know. Mind the bar. Mind the bar. Yeah. Oh, we brought it up earlier when oh, okay. I was saying that you would talk to Mac and Jordan right. got really excited, so. Mackenzie and Priya, another one of our close friends, right. they're both guests on the podcast. Oh, yeah. And Priya works with people in the downtown. Actually, she's not doing that job currently, but she's a therapist. She yeah. has done quite a few different... She finished school, so she finished her, pra- like, her practical... Yeah. Like, at one point, you have to work like in, during school. Like, mm-hmm. like, you know, yeah, every she's year. Working at, yeah, and she's working in the downtown east side uh, with men. Uh, but now that she's finished school, she's... She, she's um, the next day. She's creating her practice essentially. Yeah, she's, but yeah. she's worked, she's also done sex workers. She's done quite a bit. She's like basically, yeah. I feel like she's very in tune with the Vancouver community and she's helping all the areas that need attention. It's like, it's really sick right. to see. Like she's yeah, really, her heart's in it. Her heart's in it and it's rules. awesome. Yeah. And Mind the Bar is I don't know if Mackenzie's running it or if she, like if it was her idea or she's just a yeah. face of it. Oh, yeah. She's really invested in this Mind the Bar. Yeah. And from what I know, it's basically bringing therapy to the service industry. Yeah. And realizing mm. that this is a very stressful industry and there's a lot of the same problems people deal with and a lot of those you need to talk about. Yeah. And Priya yeah. asked if I asked about Mac and like, oh, like, um, I have an interview with her, like, she was kind of nervous, just asking, oh, like, little yeah, advice. Yeah. And I was like, you are going to get along amazing. Like, you guys, are, you guys both are amazing people. You guys are meant for each other, You're both amazing people, like, yeah. you don't need to worry at yeah. all. Yeah. Oh, I understand oh. you're worried because you care. Mm-hmm. Like, if you didn't want that job, you wouldn't be worried. So, it's good and that it's those like nerves good for are there. Priya, man. Like, that's like, I don't know, that's sick. She's got all that knowledge and, like, I... I yeah, she's, but it's she's just cool to see because they were both in the podcast, yeah, awesome. and we had nothing to do with Mind the Bar. Yeah, <laughs> but it's cool to see. Yeah, yeah but it's like, super it, awesome. and, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's super cool. Yeah, it's cool to see like the overlap in. The man, it, it, there's out. quite a, been quite a few little overlaps, and it's it, I, man. I was just gonna say I was like listening to you talking, like, oh man, I love podcasting. It's so fun. <laughs> like and like because no, it's trippy because like dude, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah. So, and then obviously I listen to all of ours. Mm, yeah. Um. Which we have to start listening to all of ours because we have to go through and we're gonna get some. Yeah, I got to that laptop. Anyways, yeah, you gotta take it, take it away. You should probably take yeah. it before. Yeah, you yeah. probably should take it before. You should probably just take it. I I'll just take get it the, when I go when I go home tonight. Like b- before when we go to Martin's, I'll go grab it. I was gonna ask for it today. Had you brought it? Yeah. You? No, you should. You should take it. But um, <laughs> Jordan forgot his laptop. <laughs> Anyways, we'll talk about that later. But uh, yeah. 
Once again, we're on a phone because of me. Because <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> um, but listening to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's trippy because like I see some similarities in our podcast and um, and other people's like just like like because I if you listen to like episodes after episodes, then you're like, oh, they talked about that last time. Oh, they talked about that last time. Like, are they like you kind of know what they're talking mm. about? So right. And like, oh, I see it's cool. Mean, yeah. yeah, for sure. I yeah. like man the podcasts I listen to. Some of them like. It's not like I'm crazy into true crime, but I like the dudes from the last podcast in life. They're cool. They're funny. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, they're just, yeah. I don't know, I like this. And then the making My Favorite Murder, I like, I like the girls. Like, they're really funny. Like, and they're, just the way they talk and interact with each other, yeah. that's a part of me, like, liking a podcast as no, well. No, it's an art. Yeah, it's an it's art. art. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking art. Yeah. I haven't actually downloaded any new, like, podcasts lately. I haven't been listening to as many podcasts as... Since I actually quit cabinetry, to be honest, just because yeah, like, this were new like, job, I can't right, really right. listen to music. Yeah, you I shouldn't always... be listening on a fork like that. No, like definitely not. Life, but yeah. uh, in the wood shop, just everyone's kind of doing their own task. And uh, once you're at, like, obviously, when you're first starting in a dangerous environment like a shop, you should probably not wear headphones. But, like, once after after a few years, yeah. like, once you're comfortable, you know, it's, everyone's doing their own task. Not, not a whole lot of communication is necessary yeah if there is obviously you can take your earphones out but yeah basically what i'm getting at is i have to listen to a lot of podcasts lately. i'm very thankful for a job that i can listen yeah like he, crushes, consume content. he crushes yeah i can podcast, youtube yeah. all day i can podcast all day i can music yeah. i can just always mm-hmm. it's hard to listen to audiobooks and stuff in podcasts yeah i'll have to go back over it sometimes because i am working exactly. sometimes yeah, i have to say too man when i'm like but, you know, like doing electrical on a place by myself. Like, you know, it's a great like, problem to have. You yeah. still gotta like fo- like yeah, you gotta like You're take working, your focus right? away yeah. from the podcast for yeah. a bit and then like such back it. it's a, such background. But I've learned so that, much yeah. stuff since working at Stantec and realizing that I can I never cared about school because yeah. I was forced to learn something. It's just mm. you can't force anybody to do anything and expect mm. them to enjoy it. No. Like it's not even if they wanted to do it, if you frame it as if they have to, it's like, eh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, fuck, uh, I don't want to do that. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, skating at seven? Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Really. <laughs> but as soon as I found out that I could just look up whatever the fuck I was interested in and listen to people that love talking about it and realizing how great it is to hear people that are stoked talk, yeah. I was like, shit. Uh, like, this is the best. Yeah. And that, like, that 10 years has changed my life so 100%, drastically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn so much. Like, and just... This is cool, man. This it's just starting information. Yeah, yeah, information's out there. And, like, history and stuff, too. Like, it's fucking cool, man. Like, yeah. yeah like, Frick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. Like, finding out about, like, you know, what has happened before us. I mean, simply, but, like, and um, how they happened. Yeah. And, like, or just, the like, the, notes of, the chain of events. And, yeah. Uh, oh, man, it's interesting. The world's crazy, but... And how much it repeats itself. Yeah, like, it's crazy, but... How we're all flawed. Uh, yeah, it's... It's cool. Yeah. But I never cared about history either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, in school I never, like, I got, like, I was really good at, like, getting just over getting by, you know what I mean? Like, get getting, like, a B, B-level grades all throughout high school. So, like, that's 70%. Much, that's much better but, than but, like, getting over. I mean, yeah. Like, but. These get degrees. Yeah. Like, I feel like I did not retain, like, much, you know? I don't think many people did. Uh, no, yeah. No, I didn't like, either, man. High school was, like, except for math. Like I was good, at, I was good at math. So I mm. and then luckily in electrical school, it's a lot of it's physics. So it's yeah, math. Um, so but you use that all the time. Still. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, so, no, I don't use it on the job, just in school to mm. figure out like amperages and so it's still fresh in the brain. Stuff. Man, it was sick. Um, but I didn't give a fuck about school in high school, man. I didn't care at all. I could give a shit less. Like I didn't skip or anything, but I just didn't. Like I could be fucking bothered. I just was there to fucking hang with my friends basically yeah and uh then when i went to electrical school like i like i had my first year where i didn't try at all and then the next year I, and like th- then the next three years i was like no i'm gonna fucking try i'm paying for this i'm gonna try it and i worked my ass off and studied and actually learned so much and dude it was awesome like i actually was so awesome. into it you know because yeah. I, I was also paying for all of it right so it's kind of my dime and like it's um, it's practical like when mm-hmm. you, like, I can use it like you know what I mean it's, it is electricity yeah. it is my job so I don't know it's sick I loved it man. Oh, yeah, I thought man. It, was, it was awesome it's just like something that like if you want to like and you don't have to it's just on you yeah like, yeah you're into it but yeah it's so crazy where are you at now you said that you you have a job that's just a job and you're trying to figure out do you have 
anything on the horizon? Any vacations? Anything that you want to pursue? Um, honestly, not a whole lot planned at this point. I just kind of came to the conclusion I want to just like skate all the time. Like as mu- not all the time, but like no, no, all the time. I mean, all the time would be awesome, all honestly, time, but that's, that's, that's not a reality. But as much as I. Possibly you just want to skate at this right point. now. Yeah, I just want to skate. Talking. Man, you know what? Fuck I, yeah, you well, should fucking skate, dude. Just yeah. skate your fucking ass well, off. That's I came great. to the conclusion, man, because like 2018 was filled with like a bunch of like two month long injuries, like I think three or four two month long injuries. It's half no. a year more. Yeah, so yeah. it was just like. I guess I came to the realization like shit, I actually got to start taking care of my body now. I'm not like a teenager anymore. And it's good to start. Taking care of your body. Taking now. care of my body and also. When you're like, 30 and our age, you're like, thank God I'm stretched. <laughs> like, when you can go hard, like, dude, I can go hard. Like, I can mm-hmm. still skate for a fucking long time. Yeah. Longer than some of my friends that are in their early 20s. Like, dude, way we, longer. Hours we those last kids at West 49 that are on scooters. Exactly. They're like 15 years old yeah. and we'll last them. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, take care of your body. It's yeah. Worth it. It's worth it. Drink water, dude. Drink water. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get. I always forget, man, during a sesh. I just get so into it, so a friend of mine suggested this. I don't know if this is even good, but I, like, just chug a bunch of water before the yeah. sesh. You, sh- you don't have to or drink like, that much during. It's just before. You shouldn't drink it right before. Maybe, no. like, a couple hours no, or an hour before, drink not. a lot of water, and then after, the, and then skate, and then after you're done skating, then drink a lot of water again. Yeah. Do- Dr. Joe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta trust the doctors with first names. Yeah, Dr. Joe. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> might as well. Yeah. <laughs> seems Seems trusting. Yeah. Trustworthy. You don't have to be hesitant to say you want to skate all day. You're talking to two of the most addictive personalities. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. think we're addictive personalities. I spent most of my 20s of skating. Substances. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, it but wasn't. We a... are addicted to like hobbies. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Both wasn't... of us just. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking... Dude, we were so similar. <laughs> like, there's so many times where like, like, I'm out grinding. Like, dude, I go skate by myself all the fucking time. You know mm-hmm. why? Because I don't fucking need my friends. Like, don't get me wrong. I love when my friends are there. It gets yeah. me way more fired up. It gets me so fired up. Like, yeah. Yeah. But but it doesn't take my friends to get me to the park, to get me out skating. Like, yeah. I'll just do it because I want to do it. I want to totally. be good at skating. I want to keep being good at skating. Yeah. Like, you know? And I know that Cam is the exact same way. He has multiple different outlets but like i know sometimes when i'm at the park grinding at 10 30 i know he's grinding on the foosball table you know what i mean like i i know it like he's I just, texted I, me before he's like hey hey you haven't answered me yeah you're either doing this this or this yeah and i was like fuck i'm just doing one of those <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i'm That's pretty awesome. predictable yeah no but we just have our shit man we like our we we just the best we're totally. motivated i'm so happy like, to do the do the things that yeah i'm so lucky do, that yeah. i found three things i fucking like man and yeah. like the fact that you have the motivation to fucking do them and do them hard you know what i mean like well, fuck yeah dude like do? but like <laughs> like and i'm not saying there's different there's different ways to live your life but I don't know. I think it's sick, man. Because yeah. why not do it as much as you, as much as you can? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, dude, I've it's. I kind of started skating late in in my teens, but I just kind of am at that point right now where it's just like still just total. Man, love for you're, it, like you're so saying. young, twenty one, dude. Like, think about it. we're still skating so hard. And we're thirty, dude. Like, you guys you know, are freaking. I noticed you guys are shredding, like yeah. you said. Like, dude, we're you're not like. Not gas, like like. No, we're not. How old are you guys? I don't. I'm thirty. Mean, 30. 30. Yeah, like yeah. most thirty year olds skating are like. Not skating. Not skating yeah. that much. Yeah. <laughs> you know many tri- I learned so many tricks. Like I actually like like that's the one thing I was gonna say about skating by myself. There sometimes is like the lack of motivation to get super fired up, but I can I learn a lot of tricks. I really yeah. do learn a lot of tricks when I'm by myself. Like I just totally yeah just I agree. Fucking, I see it on foosball too. Like yeah. when you're playing with like one person or even just practicing. It's slower. You're not trying to get it, but you're mm-hmm. like you're figuring it out. You're yeah. looking at it differently. You're like, okay, how the fuck can Man. I do this? And I do it at Pleasant all the time. Yeah. I'm just getting Pleasant by myself. Yeah, fuck that's it. when I'm working on shit. Yeah. That's when I'm like, you just try some different yeah, shit because totally. you can. You got the time. It feels different. Yeah, the whole vibes different. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a whole different mentality. Totally. It's like, like yeah, I feel like skating with friends is like more fun sometimes and like it can, a lot of the time oh it can man, be more fun all, all can be but nothing than, like nothing more fun it's nothing more nothing fun, more fun. Nothing you're more right fun. you're right dude like, think about what the sessions on <laughs> fire there's been some sessions at Hastings or me even me and Cameron were just so fucking fired out we're just hammering yeah. out shit and it's just like yeah. 
one after another, just like bang, 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 like just banging tricks out. It's just so fucking. And then you see him do it, and you're just like, I want to oh, do it. Yeah. Like, I want to learn that. It just too. gets you yeah. so yeah. stoked, totally. dude. It's so. But you're right though. Yeah, it's like, different. Sometimes I find like learning tricks is like easier. Just like skating on the solo. Yeah. Sometimes you need. You need both. both. Yeah, you need like, both. Yeah. You're right. One's practice, one's a game. Yeah, but yeah. In skating yeah, terms, yeah, like, yeah. yeah one, There's a blend or a gray area. Like yeah. For sure. They blend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Especially with skating. Yeah. But it's nice to just, like, not be fired up and not mm-hmm. taking three extra pushes into a trick. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that trick's actually really easy when mm-hmm. I push once. Yeah. And you yeah. just get the fundamentals totally, down. Totally. And then you push totally. twice. Yeah. Man, then you push three times. Do you remember? I always, man, I used to say this all the time. I used to say every session is progression. I used to say it. Like, Ooh, Damn. I like that. Yeah. Phrase. I still sick. fucking follow that, man. Like, I still feel like no matter what, if you're not learning a trick in a session, that doesn't mean you're not learning skating. Do you mm-hmm. want to journals? There's a lot of part of skating. I'm going to, I'm, for those listening, I have a bookshelf back here and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen journals right here. And one of them, I don't want to pull it off because I might knock over the, it's not the best <laughs> bookshelf. Yeah. It's cool. But one of them oh, yeah. written on the cool. cover says every session is progression. Yeah. Nice. That's sick. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, I don't want to pull them all out because it that, will fall. No, is that an actual functioning pipe or is that just no, no. no. Yeah, oh okay just pump, put in the that's freaking it's sick cool, though, though, I like that. Yeah, but the so. gap between the pipe I have a pipe shelf that goes around the corner so it's like a 90 degree bend and there's yeah that's cool that it goes around the corner yes yeah. but cool. the gap between the wall and the shelf doesn't suit all of the books that I have so some of them are really on edge oh, oh yeah, like, like they might be falling off like kind of thing yeah you can see and there's some big ones up there so yeah. I'm gonna just leave that and mm. you can trust me one of them is titled Every Session is Progression. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, I yeah, think you trust my word on that but one. But that's I think like, we trust you. Yeah, we, we trust it. <laughs> like, I feel like that was our motto, like, from... At the house. Yeah, that was, like, our motto. Like, we were, yeah. like... We lived in Edmonton together on White Ave, and we were... We just decided... I remember we were just decided, we're like, man, let's be fucking awesome humans. Let's, let's do this together. We decided we wanted to be great humans. Like <laughs> Ben Lotz nice. helps. Yeah, Ben Lotz was a huge inspiration, man. Like That's awesome. Just to be, like, good humans and, like, try our best at everything and, like, just yeah. fucking rule. And oh, yeah. we've tried to stay as true to that as we possibly can. Like, and... Yeah. Not, like, that I we're, can. like, the best. It's, like... Not like the, just like be your best self. That's what we were yeah. so yeah. done. Like compare you know? yourself to who you were yesterday, yeah. not to who someone else is. Yeah, just like that yeah, exactly. A great mindset. Such yeah. a good Hell yeah. People are in different points of the race. You can't yeah. compare yourself to Nigel. Like yeah, it's no. just yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, but are you better than you were yesterday? Yeah, and it doesn't have to be every single day. Yeah, as long again the same thing. Like maybe one day you improved an eating habit. Yeah, maybe one day you just mm. improved taking a minute to breathe and yeah. meditate for 30 yeah. seconds, like yeah. right. calming yourself down a little bit. Not like, thinking about anything for just Treat someone bit, else yeah. better. Yeah. Like, go out of your way to do one nice thing. Yeah. You know, like, it adds up. Yeah, and, yeah. totally. It'll, what I was saying, invest earlier. Like, if you just stick to that, you're going to be very happy. You don't need to see where you're going. You just need to see the next step. Yeah. Just know, yeah. like, each step you take, do it fucking properly. Yeah. Will Smith said it a long time ago. It's a motivational... YouTube video is the, yeah. the first thing I ever he's, found on he's YouTube. He's so dope, yeah. yeah. First, like, that's the first time I went into a YouTube vortex and realized how much information was a Will Smith motivational video. Did not expect Will Smith to be motivational at all at that age. But I had really, no idea. He really is, yeah. But he was talking about yeah, building totally. a wall. He's like, you can't think about building a wall. The idea of how many bricks you're going to have to lay and how long that's going to take, it's just so overwhelming. Yeah. But if you just laid that first brick perfectly into the best of your ability... And then you lay the next one, like that time's gonna yeah. pass, and you're gonna have a fucking beautiful wall. Yeah. And that's kind of how I feel about this topic. Wow. Like just yeah, every that's... day, just try to do something, and I think we're both stay true to it. Yeah. Like, I don't think I could try harder at some things. Like, no. Yeah. I need to take a break. Well, no. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. that's what we've real. That's what we basically <laughs> realized lately is like, man. I think in the last couple of years, we both have like been like, man, we need to fucking slow down here and there to like have a bath. You know, fucking yeah, read, it, read a like book. Just like so busy. Read man. a book, just like or like you know what I mean? Because we both, yeah, we yeah. both like, like, yeah. I mean, like you heard Cam's Vegas to Hawaii yeah. to like you know what I mean? Like came back. I worked straight twelves again all the way to long weekend. Yeah, yeah. Did no just fucking like, days off. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, through. and then awesome. like, dude, like it's I'm true. like moving <laughs> on May first to Victoria, going on a fucking sailing trip. Don't have a fucking job, like you know, like I just there's there's always so much that we have going on in our yeah. life. You were saying that you worked. 
8.30 to 5, and then you started at 5.30 for your first restaurant job ever. Mm. And I didn't want to be, like, negative. I'm like, dude, get fucking used to it. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. if you want to be where you want to be, like, you're going to have to put in work. Yeah. But yeah. it's eventually going to be work that you enjoy putting in. You'll and find something. You'll see jobs that you hate, and you should be thankful for those because yeah. you'll realize, like, oh, I don't have to go back to that. Like, that's, like, yeah. it's motivation away from that life. But it's also, mm. like, there's... Every little job or every little thing can teach you something. Like, you know, it can teach yeah. you, like, it can teach you something that maybe if you didn't have that shitty job that maybe you don't want to do for the rest of your life, but you just have it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can teach you something, man. It might teach you, like, work ethic. It might teach you, like, uh, how to socialize with co I don't totally, fucking know. Yeah. Anything. That, it might teach you anything, one. right? Like, Especially a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, of course. Tempers are high. Temper, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, man. It's just, like, very uh, a chaotic Work, yeah. work environment and I've yeah. never been in that like sounds silly but never been in that high uh, high of paced yeah high paced yeah, uh, okay, yeah. environment yeah. I mean it's kind of nice because I'm just like most of the night on busy nights I'm in my car most of the time which is yeah. pretty yeah. easy but no it's definitely good to good for me anyway to improve my social skills at yeah. that job yeah. for sure yeah. always, <laughs> always work on interactions like put yourself in something uncomfortable yeah like if you feel a conversation with a stranger going astray, you're like, okay, see you later. Like, try to hold it for 10 more seconds. Yeah, like, just try to break good. past that yeah, point. Totally, Don't get in totally, the habit yeah. of just getting the awkward vibe. And then, like, you're like, you can ask a cliche, like, what do you do for work? People will answer you. They're not going to be like, oh, yeah. that's a dumb question. Yeah, yeah you know, I like, have to have that. <laughs> yeah, I think you could, it's, it's a good place to be when you're uncomfortable. Yeah. It's but, good advice. thank you. I was going to say as well, earlier you brought up that, you were a little hesitant about not getting your red seal. Yeah. And yeah. Like, like you can go back to it. Oh, um, Fuck a plan B. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. As long as you have the mentality to know that if you have to have the work ethic to make sure that plan A doesn't fail, fuck plan B though. Yeah. True. Like, that means you're just thinking of a way out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, no, you're, you're, like you're, already think, you're already thinking about how to get out of it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. But it's scary too. Like, yeah, scary. go full commit, dude. I don't know what the fuck full I'm gonna do. Slam, when I'm, buddy. Land land land. Slam. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I, like, I know I'm gonna get a job eventually, but I'm definitely not getting a job in between the time I'm going sailing and the time to come back. So mm. I'm gonna be playing it pretty safe. But it'll work out. I already know it's gonna work out. You know what I, I mean? Know. Like I already, like I already know. Like I'm not even worried at all. Everybody was like, "Oh man, you get, you got a job lined up," and I was like. No, <laughs> I just say every time like yeah. that, no, and they're just like, oh shit, I'm like, mm, we've not worried. Lives that a lot of people do as well. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I'm, yeah. dude, I'm not. I, I'm, awesome. I'm really not. Like, believe me, like I've been in this situation multiple times because I put myself in uncomfortable situations. I actually like it. Like you know, like I think it's important, like as a human, to put yourself there, dude. It's yeah. one thing to be stable and have like that lifestyle, and sometimes you need it because of kids or house or whatever the fuck you did like that's okay like too but like I didn't that's not my life choices yeah. and my and I, I'm so glad that I didn't because I've learned so much through traveling the world and just like so much through like d- like I've chosen happiness over dollars and like and, yeah that's like, how it should be man and absolutely and like yeah like and like don't get me wrong everybody needs money and I'm glad I'm so glad dude that mm-hmm. I am a journeyman electrician because I did that and even if like let's say I never go back to it I will like I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get a job working electrical in Victoria but like let's say I did never get go back to it dude that I'm psyched that I did that it's yeah. taught me so much like you know what I mean like yeah. I, I've learned a lot just from my job like just from like you know like yeah, it's totally, yeah man. I don't know like I wanna yeah. compliment Jordan while hopefully getting the point across it may have been misconstrued earlier when you were saying it's fine to just have a job it's okay mm. that it's just a job but I know him I know myself and I know the way that we work like if it's just a job you still respect it yeah, oh, yeah. like you, you don't don't yeah, take for sure. don't have the mentality like oh I'm better than this you should never be better no, than your no, job no no it's like but 100% yeah, it's, yeah. yeah do good at what you're doing but it could be or at least like, put all effort in put your Definitely. whole effort yeah. in like yeah like it doesn't just because it, I didn't, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't mean like it was, like it no. was just a no, job. No, I, I didn't. Yeah. I know you didn't, but I think the way that you said it, if someone didn't know you, true, you could assume that. Yeah, like true. say one of Monte's mm-hmm. friends who's never heard a podcast just hears you. Yeah, that's and thinks true. like, oh, just a fucking job, yeah. just a fucking like. I hear it, and I don't think that way, but I just recognize that it yeah, could be. Mis- that's a good call, actually. That's, yeah, but that's I know the way call. that you are as a person, and I know that you don't 
But it's important to say, like, you're never better than the job that you have. No. Like, you should, why are you better than this yeah, job? That yeah. Why are you better than everyone else? Like, people do this job. Other people do this job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you yeah. think you're better than someone else, there's an issue there. Yeah. If you think yeah. you're better than, or if you think you're worse than someone else, there's an issue there. Yeah, I agree. For sure. I couldn't agree more. That's yeah, be grateful way, for, like, the opportunity that, yeah. you know, you're, the, whoever hired you gave you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Man, like, uh, have you ever read the book The Alchemist? He he showed me this book a long time I've ago. Heard a lot about it, I've never dude. Read and it. that yeah, actually really like read. helped. <laughs> like that actually explained a lot to me. It really does. It it, it really. It's the best. It's a really great story. Guess where I got that book? Finland's? That nine minute Will Smith motivational video. Really, that YouTube. Nice. Really, no fucking shit. <laughs> it it like, all comes full circle. It was like a decade ago. Yeah. It was like just little clips of him and different late night host interviews. Yeah. And I don't even know how I found it. Like I didn't search it. I did not expect to even like. I didn't. I like Will Smith, but I never thought it was like that he was that person. You know? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I just saw him as like Fresh Prince, and then yeah. I watched this, and I was like, "What the fuck?" But yeah, Alchemist. He said it was his favorite book. Changed his life. Everyone read it. Yeah. And, uh, I got the audiobook. It's four hours. It's damn. It's great. That's four hours. That's yeah. Dude, like less than I thought. A lot less than I thought it would be for like a novel for some reason. Yeah, it's a more like a pamphlet, but yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little one. Oh, okay. It's a cool story though, and yeah. just bump that speed up to one and a half times. And <laughs> yeah, there you trick. go. Three hours. Nice. You know what? I've that heard is, of that trick. That's a, a good, good idea, trick. man. I got a pee, so maybe we'll just. Pause the, pause the I'll pull the kettle. Nice. Yeah. Break. Yeah. Break. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are back. Jordan has finished peeing. I pulled up my pants. The kettle is finished boiling. And I finished hitting foosballs. So we're nailing them. We're back. Break, yeah. Oh, I was okay. nailing them. Oh yeah, yeah. Was, that felt Sometimes good. You got it. I felt good. Yeah, was, that, that felt good. better than normal. That yeah, was, that looked felt, felt that felt nice, eh? I felt good since Vegas though. Oh yeah, nice. you play like fourteen yeah. hours a day, five days in a row. Mm, yeah, it's like when you come back from a skate trip and you're just you're, you're on. dialed in. Oh, yeah, you're super totally. dialed. That's yeah. how you feel. You spent the last dialed. like two weeks, like or weekend or whatever, four days, five days skating straight. Yeah, like, fuck. yeah, super dialed. Yeah, and I just booked Texas State, going to Texas State and Dallas and May. Oh, in May. Yeah, is that for a tournament? Texas State, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's so sick, scary. dude. Exciting Both stuff. Out. Yeah, Hell yeah. Yeah, randomly. No, man, yeah, that's, that's good. Couple you, weeks you, fucking... If you go to, like, it seems like you've been going, I mean, you always go every year, but can you go to more and more every year? Is there more tournaments? Every month. There's, there's one next weekend in Maryland State. That's so like, sick. That yeah. girl, she's going to Maryland State next weekend, and she's going to Texas State. It's all because World Cup. Yeah. Like, World Cup's in oh, okay. July. Like, I might as well warm up. Yeah. You know, like... No, yeah. you I'm should. making the trip you, to Spain. The yeah. more you invest in Rhetorical. it, the better you'll get, you'll get yeah. out of there, right? So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so sick, though, dude. You, like, you should. I was just wondering, do you, like... I think that's super beneficial, like... like just it's expensive, keep, though. Expensive, yeah. But, but beneficial, yeah. I'm looking, like, each trip, if I'm flying, at least a grand. And yeah. if I win, I win in, like... I guess I won like 285 bucks. It's like, woo. Yeah. Nice. yeah. But I spent well over a grand. Yeah. So like you're losing money to eat. You're losing money no matter what. Basically. Yeah. Unless you win a table. But they don't sell many. They don't give away tables that often anymore. Mm. That's so sick that you did. We have won tables in the past. Three. Don't I have won three. It's so How sick. much are, they, are tables worth? Guess how much one of this would cost you if you went to Marine Drive at the Jeez. store that sells them. I mean, I oh, have yeah. no, like... Stab in Estimated the dark. Gas. Uh, stab in the dark. Um, twenty five hundred bucks. Five grand. Wow. Forty seven hundred. Wow. Yeah. That's <laughs> really quote unquote. <laughs> That's fucking discount. wild. That's there's a it's just a fuck around though. The pool distribution companies, like billiards, mm-hmm. they own the rights to foosball, mm-hmm. so they mark it up through the roof because they don't see a market for it and they don't carry them in stock, mm. so they have to. You got to pay shipping on the order yeah. coming in and everything. Yeah. Like you have to wait weeks to get it, and you can't even buy. If you were to go to this like tornado, if you were to go to their yeah. website and buy a table, they wouldn't sell it to you in Canada. They don't legally have the rights to do it. Really? Really? Wow. Yeah. I've been trying to take them over with T with Canada Foosball for well, a while. Oh, Besides the internal drama, Ooh, which you, takes up most of the time. You but, bad. <laughs> you bad. Dude, I want those. Ones. Yeah, that's so. Of course, yeah, that dude. makes so much fucking sense. Yeah. In the, in the states, you can get one for like. Eighteen hundred. Mm. So to wow. think it's five thousand dollars here. Like, that's that's so fucking crazy, that's crazy man. man. Like, 
even with yeah. accounting for like the exchange rate, that's still crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. horrible. You can ship to the states, drive down, pick it up, drive over, which is what I do. Oh and, yeah. And is that uh, how much does it cost though when you go over to the border? Uh, this one I brought with me. You're allowed because we won it. You're allowed to take prizes because oh, I'm not okay. purchasing it. Right. So if you win a table, they can ship it to Canada. If you buy a table, they can't. How do you oh, prove it? Okay. Do you have a receipt or something like that? Saying you won it? Uh, that wasn't on me. I gave her my address. Oh. Like, Tornado sent it to me. Oh, I see. Because they're part of the tournament. Right. I'm Mary, but she's like... Mary runs foosball in the States pretty much right now. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I wanted her tournament. She asked for the address, and I was like, oh, I want to buy one. She's like, I can't. I talked to the guys at Tornado. I talked to everyone. They all say the same thing. Like, I understand the situation. It just sucks. Mm, that's but sick. Anyways... Anyways, good to know. Good to know. I like talking about this stuff. I've learned so much yeah. about foosball. I actually know so much about foosball. Not like a crazy, like I'm not like a genius or anything, yeah. honestly, but like because I talk to Cam every, like all the time about it, so. Yeah. The average person doesn't know that much about it. No one. No, like. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not saying My that I, I do. I'm just saying I know a lot from just listening to you. Yeah. But yeah, that was the top one in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, my only exposure to like knowing anything about foosball is from the podcast. Yeah. 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 Sick. The podcast helps. I yeah, wonder man. if we're ever going to get <laughs> listeners coming to the 12 Kings. Uh, it would be a Monday night at uh, 8 p.m., 12 Kings Pub. There's <laughs> tournaments <laughs> every Monday. Every Monday. Nice. We play nice. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Saturday and then Sunday at high score. And every Monday is the tournament, though. Is there yeah. tournament high score or not yet? No. Okay, so every Monday, 8 p.m., show up. I wonder do it. If people show up. I Sounds like a do it, man. Someone will call you out when you do if you're there. <laughs> Some, like, well, there's like 15 people there. <laughs> I'm, the one that, I'm the one that takes registration names. <laughs> I'm sure, like, oh, how'd you hear about it? Yeah. I usually ask people that because it's, it's number, rare. They just, yeah. Who's number one, like, winner usually? I know it probably varies every Monday, but who usually... Twan. Twan. Twan yeah. usually takes it. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I've decided nice. to take the bullet in the sense... Usually, I was saying Dante yeah. earlier, better player plays forward. So Pro-Am, the tournament works. Okay. So my partner, Dylan, is crazy fucking good at this game as well. Mm-hmm. Like, he's... Mm-hmm. Twan's really fucking good. Like, we have a lot of good players here. Every team would be like, Ante and me, Jordan and Dylan. That's a Pro-Am. Mm-hmm. So if you come... You don't have to play against these top guys. You play oh, with a top guy. Okay. And now I'm invested in your success. Right. Because it's yeah. five bucks to get in. There's money for the winners. Uh, you get a free beer with the five bucks, though, to counter that. Nice. But nice. I'm now going to help you learn how to play. Because the more, the better you do, yeah. the better I do. Yeah. Whereas other events where it's like pros versus ams, even if there's a goal handicap, they're not helping you at all. They don't want oh, you to win. Yeah. They don't want you to know. Right. Um... But I have decided that I'm going to be playing goalie, no matter who my forward is, <laughs> even with like brand new players. And the passing rod, like the left hand, the five bar, is so important in this game oh, that if okay. you can't do it, you're yeah. just going to get slaughtered because yeah. you're never going to get the ball. Right. And uh, I'm going to play goalie every week until Spain because in Vegas I realize how much... I'm, I'm just a forward. I'm so much better up front. Yeah. I'm okay at blocking, but I need to put in work in the You back. like all yeah. the pressure almost? Like... Maybe you learn something about being a forward when you're sitting in the back there. For sure. The yeah. better you get at shooting, the better you get at blocking, and vice versa. Yeah, relatable. Yeah. It's all oh, relatable. for sure. Yeah, everything's relatable. It's yeah. so crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 But I'm going to be losing. I'm not going to win a Monday for a while, I think. Why? Oh, because I'm going to play goalie. goalie yeah. But I'm going to yeah. win. I'm going to do better in Spain. And I think that's a worthwhile trade off. Yeah, Mondays totally. don't really matter that much. I'm excited <laughs> for you to go to Spain. Me too. I'm excited to hear about it. Yeah. It'll be sweet. Yeah, it sounds sick. I'm so. You can try to sneak in one more tournament somewhere before the other Texas State Texas. is me sneaking it in. Yeah, that's yeah. Crazy. Moneyball, Vegas, Texas State, Spain. That's yeah. Four in like three months. Yeah. That's actually been cool. I haven't even told work. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. yeah. You know what? If it's I know you get probably two weeks paid vacation, but if four weeks paid vacation, mm. whatever. If it's not on that and you just like for people that are on salary and they don't get paid, I don't see why that's not a bad trade. Like, you know, like, yeah. sure, I want to go on one more vacation, I just won't get paid. Like, it sucks, but, like, you yeah. not get paid, but, like, yeah, yeah whatever. I'm ready for yeah, that. Yeah, like, too. as long as, yeah. like, you know, I don't your, see what the your big presence is, like, you know? absolutely necessary at the workforce, then, yeah, like, take yeah. the time I don't off, think you know? realize how busy we are. You're busy right now. Mm. Always. Mm. And matches quit. Mm. Frank wants to stay in Montreal. Mm. Jim's going to go live in a yurt in Nelson for a year while he builds a house. Everybody's going to be more of a room. Or working remote. 
which is going to be a heavier workload on me, I guarantee it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and it's three weeks vacation just with Christmas. Four, if you count Christmas. Yeah. But I don't get to choose that week. But that's kind of sicky, Christmas week. Yeah, no, I'm not arguing. Vacation, not arguing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It's cool. Yeah. But my work, they were like, yo, we recognize, like, I was supposed to switch roles. I got pushed back to the same role on a different team to help because Frank is my friend from Montreal. You might know Frank. He skates mm-hmm. west a lot when he was here. Uh, Curly hair. Frank Lemoyne. Oh. Francis. What's Francois. So- Yes, actually, I met him at Chuck Bailey. Yeah, uh, super like, good only a couple weeks ago. Nice. No, 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 no last no, no. weekend. No, not him. No, he lives really? in Montreal right now. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah. friends with Mikey Ray. Mm-hmm. Anyways, he works for us now, but he's in school. Oh, okay. And he goes back to school in the fall, so he's only going to come to Van to get trained, and he's going back to Montreal. Oh. Okay. But I had to go help out his team because he only works two days a week. I don't know how they thought that him not being fully trained, working less than fifty percent of what we work, was going to do the same at work. <laughs> But Yikes. I'm now on that one, <laughs> and Jim's all over the place with him moving to Nelson, mm-hmm. building a house. So you got a lot so on your plate. My there. boss was like, or not my. There's like a new guy hired from Calgary, and he was like, "Dude, I reckon I see it." He's like, "You're doing good." He's like, "I really appreciate it." He's like, "We're gonna talk. We're gonna compensate you." He's like, "We could be salary." I know you like vacation. He's like, "We could bump the vacation." I was like, "We're Sick. talking." Like that's exactly what I want to hear. We're fucking that's, talking. You know what I'm saying? It's you and me, buddy. Yeah. Exactly. Vacation is exactly yeah. the word I want to hear right yeah. now. No, we're talking. I like that. I'm yeah. peaked up a bit. I'd love to go. <laughs> I want to stay in. I want to stay in Europe for a bit. Yeah. I haven't booked my tickets yet. Fuck yeah. I want to do Spain for a week for World Cup. I want to do a week in Barcelona. Then I want to stay a little bit longer and just like feel out Europe. Sick. Goddamn right you do. And that's so Hell fucking yeah. sick. That's sick. That shit's changing. I'll do. <laughs> you know what, Ante? If I have to tell you anything, maybe we'll leave it at here. I don't know. We gotta wrap it up. We got an Easter dinner. Yeah, to go you to guys. Cam, but nice um, I blanked out, so now I forget. Let me tell you one thing, Ante. Oh, I forget. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry that we did most of the talking, Ante. Yeah. Oh, dude, don't be sorry, man. Thanks. I'm. I uh, I'm sorry that I didn't contribute more to the conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, oh fuck! Mm-hmm. I just remember my point. Sick. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, give it to me. Uh, you know things change. It's inevitable. Mm. Just flow because that's just the best state of, that you can be in. If you just kind of go with the change, just know that just because something changes and maybe you you have this image of your goal and something changes and if you just keep that image of your goal and something changes in your life. And if you just keep that image, yeah. eventually life will take you to that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but like, sometimes it takes you an ass backwards ways and things mm-hmm. change and it doesn't exactly go the exact way you plan. Just go with it, man. Sometimes it's needed, you know? Thank you. No problem, you dude. That, Fucking right. Yeah. I hope that, I hope I explain I that. No, yeah. Totally. Good. Got yeah. That, okay. Yeah. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking too much space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean like, well, yeah, you don't got to be crazy, but like, dude, take those opportunities fucking flow around yeah. like you know sometimes dude my life has changed so much in this last year it's, <laughs> it's crazy I like, actually it's, it's crazy and sometimes it just happens you can't help yeah. it and go with it dude it's nice oh, it's yeah. a good thing yeah. it's a good thing okay. and uh, I hope to get a session we should probably organize yeah. a session like just cause it'd be fun to yeah skate. it'd be hellish it'd be hella fun, fun like, should we go to West? Sure. Go to West? I actually to went West to West if uh, it's this, I went to West on Couple days ago, actually. Nice. I haven't been there in a minute. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah, before that, yeah. It's but hard it to good. it's hard to get the motivation to go to the indoor when it's like for nice go to pay out, money you know? to go inside when it's yeah. nice out. Yeah, yeah. I hear but that. if it's been rainy a couple days, like I and I really want to skate, I'll, I'll do it. I was looking for a quote on my wall here that re- remind- Jordan said something there and it reminded me of it. And now I've wait, actually forgot the wait, quote that I'm looking for. We're gonna find it. Fail forward. I like that one. That's a good one such a good thing to keep like you know visible like so that you see it every day you know or at least you're probably gonna see it every day huh? you know yeah like all these I also I laugh sorry cause yeah. Marielle was just here a friend of mine from Montreal I actually missed her because I went to Hawaii spontaneously oh okay and she landed yeah. in Vancouver when I was in Vegas and then she was on the island when I got home and she's like okay I'll be there Thursday till Sunday and I was like, you're going to fucking hate me. Like, why? Did you book an out-of-country trip? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when, do you, when do you leave? I'm like, much. Thursday morning, 7 a.m. And I get back Monday morning, 4 a.m. And she's like, I actually won't see you. And she added one over top of one that says, I before E except after C. 
<laughs> on top of this. That's so funny. Thanks, Mario. <laughs> One cannot learn that which they think they already know. So true. Mm, that's very true. It's very true. If you think you know everything, then you're not learning shit. No doubt. Gotta be open. Oh, right here. Literally the last one I read. I went from the other corner to this <laughs> corner. The race isn't won by the person who runs the fastest, but by the person who slows down the least. Yeah. But it took me to every single one before I got there. <laughs> <laughs> and found Marielle's. Nice. Aww. Okay, we gotta wrap this up. See you soon, guys. Thank you again for listening to us. Thank you Thank again, you so Ante, much for man. Like, you guys are yeah. really like. Thanks, Ante. Oh, really? man. It's very kind of you to. Dude, we're, Fuck we're stoked, man. We're so psyched. Hey, thank yeah. you for listening. Thank yeah, you for, we appreciate Yeah, exactly. Wait, how did you find it? How did you find Spotify. the podcast? It's found it on Spotify, Voices of Vancouver. That's so did you look for? Like, what? Uh, I think I was just looking for, like, local Vancouver podcasts. I listened to a couple that, I, that weren't really my style, and then I found you guys, like, maybe, like, I can't remember how long. It wasn't very far down the list. I think I typed in Vancouver. In Spotify search, crazy. I always wonder how you. Or maybe Man, Vancouver. That's so like, random. Yeah, it was super random for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. That's so sick. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. that's tight. I'm actually hyped on that. If anybody else, uh, us, hit, hit us up, like, cause it's it's cool to know, like, they're. You were talking about how you love podcasts and how you see you listen to ours and theirs and you see like similarities. Mm-hmm. I really want to steal from Theo Vaughn where he has. He has a voicemail, and you can just call in and leave a voicemail, and then he plays the voicemails, and you can, like, interact with it. It's sick. And they call in about past guests and talk about shit that they said. That's so cool. One dude's got relationship advice, and he's like, oh, man, I was in the same shit. I did this. Like, it was super cool just to hear him interact and, like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to just, like, give up my number, change it. You can change it so you get, I forget the name of it, but it's a different type of voicemail, and you get it as a text, and you can also email the file to yourself oh, cool. so I could just get that email nice. to me and I could put it in the thing pretty easily that's cool yeah sick dude sick. anyways stay tuned oh, yeah. for that I guess thanks guys